Hi, I'm Arun, Application Engineer at Maxim Integrated. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Max 20340 EV kit for bidirectional DC power line communication. We shall also see how to charge a battery at the slave side of Max 20340 EV kit. The Max 20340 is a universal bidirectional DC power line communication management IC with a speed of 166.7 kilobits per second and data throughput of 5.7 kilobits per second in automatic mode. Max 20340 is capable of a maximum charge current up to 1.2 amperes. A single resistor is required to configure the device either as master or slave. Max 20340 can be interfaced to host controller using I2C interface and is available in WLP and FCGFN packages. It is used in truly wireless earbud systems, wearables, gaming accessories, etc. This is the block diagram of Max 20340 EV kit. The Pico board builds provide supply to Max 20343 buck boost converter, which is the supply voltage for Max 20340 master. The power as well as data is transferred from master to slave device through the PLC lag. The slave Max 20340, which receives the data and power from the master, will provide supply to the battery charger Max 20335. Max 20335 will charge the battery. The Pico board is used to communicate with Max 20340 master device, slave device, and battery charger. This is the EV kit of Max 20340. It has two Max 20340 ICs. One is master and another one is slave. This is Max 20343 DC-DC converter IC. And this is battery charger IC Max 20335. The default jumper configuration is modified to charge the battery as shown in the figure. A lithium ion battery is also connected at connector JU21. To see the charging current and voltage across the battery, an ammeter and a voltmeter are connected. Before starting the evolution, it is recommended to update the Pico board with the latest firmware. The firmware image file can be downloaded from the official page of Max 20340 EV kit. To update the firmware, Put the board in maintenance board by holding the push button on the Max 32625 Pico board and connect the USB cable to the computer, then release the button. The LED on the board turns red and we can see a USB drive named maintenance in my computer folder. Drag and drop the firmware image file into the maintenance drive and the board installs a new firmware. After the installation, press the push button on the Pico board again to reset the device into application mode. Now open the EVKit GUI for Max 20340. After opening the GUI, the status bar status changes to connected. In the GUI, the general tab will provide all important information related to Max 20340 master and slave devices and options to set up the PLC configurations. Data transmission tests can be done from this tab by clicking the transmission button. After the data transmit, the received data at the master and slave side can be seen in the tab. The configuration tab is used to configure the master and slave with additional settings, such as transmit filter, charge timer, and LDO voltage settings. The communication test tab hosts the settings for power line communication tests. User can specify transmit data in hex values and run the test. Any custom data or random data can be sent using transmit data buffers. To start a test, input the data to transmit 
when the transmit data 0 to transmit data 2 fields. Or select Use random data to use a pseudo random set of 3 bytes generated by the GUI. Click the transmit button to transmit a single set of 3 bytes. For continuous transmission test, click Start Test button and communication will continue till we press Stop button. We can see data received at the sleeve side. It is not possible to modify settings on other types while the transmission is in progress. The register map tab provides all names and values of MAX20340 registers. We have already connected the ammeter series with the battery and EV kit to show the live charge current. The voltmeter probes are connected across the battery. Now we are changing the LDO and battery settings in the config tab of GUI. Depending on the configuration, we can see the battery is charging. The battery charger's charging current limit can be configured using the resistors connected to the set pin of MAX20335 battery charger IC. The resistors used are 2 kilo ohm fixed resistor R35 and potentiometer R34, which are connected in series. The potentiometer R34 connected to the set pin can be varied to change the battery charging current. You can see the change in ammeter reading when adjusting the potentiometer R34. While the battery is charging, go back to the communication tab and click Start Test button. Here, the data transfer is taking place while the battery is charging. In this video, we familiarized with the EV kit of MAX20340 and saw how two PLC ICs are communicating with each other while simultaneously transferring power to charge a battery. For more details, Stay tuned to MaximIntegrated.com. Thank you.